What is up, everybody? Hey, welcome to Insider Look. And today joining us is Mike Curlin, and he's the VP of Clinical Quality and Integration at Medwan. So, Mike, thank you for hanging out with us. Thanks for your time. Yeah, pleasure to be here. Thank you. For people that aren't familiar with you all, um, can you tell us what is Medwan, both the company and then you, you actually have a device as well? Uh, well, Medwan Solutions is a digital healthcare company. It's transforming the conventional understanding of telehealth. It brings together multiple clinical sensors into one handheld device that weighs less than six ounces and can be used anywhere in the world. And it allows for the ever important and missing link in telehealth, the remote physical exam. So you actually have a device. Do you, do you have it with you that we can kind of see so you can talk about it? Sure, sure, I do. Uh, here it is. I don't know. Can you see it? Oh, I could see it nice and clear. All right. So imagine to be able to take heart and lung sounds and abdominal sounds, core temperature, electrocardiogram, and high definition images of the ears, nose, throat, and skin, all from the palm of your hand, from anywhere in the world. That's what the Med One does today. This is something that you can put into consumers' hands, and this is obviously to help expand the quality, really, of telehealth. That missing link for telehealth um, really is around the, the ability to conduct a remote physical exam. Telehealth has blossomed in the last couple of years because of um, the pandemic, but one of the biggest Achilles heels is that you could not conduct uh, a better physical exam. Uh, Medwan responds to that. It allows you to do that from anywhere in the world. I'm sure, you know, we're talking about telehealth, which is obviously how things are moving in that direction, getting, you know, better measurements and quality from something like the MedOne device. But are there any other really emerging trends uh, in the medical field that MedOne can help address? Yeah, you know, from my own personal experience and from what my colleagues at MedOne and frontline clinicians from all over the country have shared with me, is that they're experiencing, and this is probably no news to your audience, but the staffing shortage is really, really burning people out. And the fact that uh, equity has really come up and has become so much more aware for frontline clinicians and healthcare administrators all over the country, those two are tremendous challenges that have to be unpacked. And there's really, really no quick way of doing it. But Medwan does help address some of those things. So for instance, um, when you're talking about equity, now equity is very complicated and multi-layered, but one of the biggest challenges in equity is having equal access to healthcare. And access has already been a challenge even before the last couple of years. What the last couple of years did was really expose some of the challenges and the infrastructure problems that we've already had. Solutions like Medwan and telehealth help decrease the threshold for access. It allows a person to receive care in their home. It brings the care to the person rather than bringing the person to the care. Now with the Medwan, you know, one of the big themes uh, at CES 2023 is focusing on literally how technology helps people, you know, basically take on the some of the world's most pressing problems and human security for all. This is a theme throughout the show. You touched on how the Medwan can address that to a certain degree, but how how can it really, really make you know uh, change that we can see or feel that that's tactile? Be because this is emerging. So one of the challenges in healthcare in general is trust, and it's hard to trust that you are having a good examination or a good interaction with your provider or clinician. And if you fold in telehealth, you amplify that challenge unless you have tools that could help with clinically accurate data, data that the patient can see and the provider can see like, hey, I trust the information that's coming from my telefacilitator that's with the patient because they're using a tool like this. Or the patient themselves can see like, wow, I, I can hear my heart and lung sounds and I know the doctors and the nurses are able to hear it and see it. And if they need to, they could pass it on to their colleagues or specialists within hours or within minutes in case they hear some kind of anomaly or a problem they want to fully, fully understand better. This helps build the trust, which in many ways impacts equity because 
one of the problems with equity is that there is an equal trust. And unfortunately, there is an equal trust in healthcare. We're trusting that you guys are going to be at CES. You know, we're excited to see you there. So I'm, I'm just wondering, you know, where we can find you at CES. And I've got to assume you're going to be showing this off out on the show floor as well. Can you kind of talk about what, what you guys will be showcasing at the show? Yeah, I'm totally stoked about this. So imagine a big booth, 8725 North Hall. You cannot okay. miss it. So you're going to be able to do these interactive sessions, which highlights the different um, the different geographical use cases. One is an airplane. One is an oil rig and maritime. The other one is in like a tribal rural or like ultra rural or frontier land experience. You're going to get to go there, put the med one in your hand and try it out in each one of these types of scenarios, allowing you to really appreciate just the impact of having this clinical data in the palm of your hand and being able to send it across the planet if you need to. That, that's cool because I think that gives us you know, when you talk about it and you just brought it up, we talked about health equity, but rural areas, right? Not in the world globally, right? Having a true kind of tool like this in an area that basically is not, there's people that live two hours away from a hospital, right? That in a lot of cases, that is not good enough to get treated for certain, you know, injuries or something that happens or health conditions. So um, I'm kind of really curious to experience what this whole, you know, Medwan Medwan solution is like, and I think it's like it's really cool that you're gonna be showing off at the show. Yeah, we're we're really excited about it. It's our biggest show yet, so come by, meet me, shake some hands. I'll give you a, a tour of the Medwan, and we'll we'll chat it up. You know, to your point, even about the the, ge the geographical limitations about like receiving access to care. Um, you know, I used to live literally ten miles away from a hospital, big hospital. But when traffic hit, it took me an hour to get there. Now, could you imagine being an older adult that has already challenges, has multiple chronic illnesses? It's hard. It's hard to just even get out of your home uh, and then get to the hospital or the mothership where all the care is being given at. Medwan and other solutions like Medwan and the ones that you're going to see, like your, your audience is going to see it, CES, digital healthcare is blossoming. And it's become like this aha moment for healthcare this last couple of years because we recognize all the challenges with our, with our infrastructure. And on top of that, the staffing shortage that we talked about earlier really emphasizes the need to figure out solutions that will advance healthcare, that will transform it and be the care that it should be in the United States, especially. All right, Mike. Um, you know, thanks so much for that insight. And uh, I will definitely be looking to stop and buy your booth. And uh, we'll see you guys at CES. I look forward to seeing you. Take care. Yeah.